Praise God. This is Apostle Francis Austin once again. And uh, I want to welcome you to this channel. I want to encourage you that subscribe to this channel. Don't change it. Remain here with me as we share the word of life. I believe by the end of this message today, your life will never be the same again. Your Christian life will move a step further. And your relationship with God, with God will become better than it used to be. I want to share on one of the themes that is one of the most important themes in the Bible. And yet, a lot of people have difficulty as having this experience, even though they are believers, and some have been in Christ for a very long time, and yet they have not succeeded in reaching this height. Today, I want to try and avail myself to the Lord as He uses me to teach you on this subject, the subject of hearing from God. Hearing from God. Wow. What a subject. Shall we have a word of prayer? Father, we thank you once again this afternoon. Anoint these leaves of mine and anoint me as I speak to your people. Let every soul at the sound of my voice receive a touch from on high. By the end of this, let many whose ears have been blocked from your voice have their ears open so that they can hear you and they can receive your instructions. In Jesus' name, amen. There are many people who want to walk with God and many of us call ourselves believers, but the challenge we have is we are working with a God who though he speaks, we can hear him. How can you walk with someone and call him your friend or your father and when he speaks, you can hear him? You know, it will be very difficult to walk with such a person because what is going to happen at the end of the day is you will not succeed in obeying any of his instructions. So should any danger be on the way and he's instructing you so you escape it, you will not be able to escape it because you cannot hear him. And this afternoon, I want us to take this opportunity to dive into some scriptures and look at how God spoke to somebody and how God helped the person to hear his voice. Our subject for, for this afternoon is our own prophet called Jeremiah. I want us to open our Bible to the book of Jeremiah chapter 18 and verses 1 and 2. Jeremiah 18, 1 and 2. Let's hear the word of the Lord. The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause thee to hear my word. Did you hear that? God came down and told Jeremiah, I have been speaking to you concerning an issue for some time now. But you have not succeeded in comprehending or understanding that which I have been speaking to you. And so you have not succeeded to act also as I want you to act. But now, Jeremiah, this is what I'm going to let you do. Go to the potter's house. Go to the potter's house. And there, I will curse you. I, God, will curse you. I, God, will move you. I, God, I'm going to touch you. And what I'm going to do in you will make you hear my words. Hallelujah. I believe we are in a time, especially in this time, everybody is saying Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming. Yes, Jesus is going to come. But until Jesus comes, you need to succeed or you need to learn how to hear the word of God or how to hear when God is speaking. And you also have to grow to be able to differentiate between the voice of God, the voice of man, and the voice of the devil. The voice you hear, which one is the voice of God? The, what you are hearing, which one is the voice of man? And what you are hearing, which one is the voice of Satan? 
Let me give you a picture. When you go into a jewelry shop, there is one thing that is interesting in a jewelry shop you will find. In the case where they display the jewelries, you will always find that though the, the glass on the case or in the showcase is plain so that you can see through the glass and see the jewel. But in every jewelry showcase box, you'll find that there is light. Why is it that though it's day and it's not night and there is, the place is not dark, they still put light in the jewelry, jewelry showcase box. Even though there might be light in the room, they still put a, a light in there. It is because those people who are selling the jewelry want you to have a good view of the beauty of that jewelry. I believe there are jewelries in you and there are jewelries where you are. There are special treasures in us and God wants us to see them. But until God throws light on it, you will not be able to see. There are certain things we need to appreciate in our lives that will bring us blessings. But because we do not have proper illumination, light on them, we do not see how beautiful how valuable or how important they are so that we will appreciate them and, and use them for our good. Today I pray, as you listen to me, that the Lord will give you fresh insight in the name of Jesus so that as we study this word, your ears will be open and your eyes will be open so you can see and so you can hear in Jesus name a word well said or with revelation can make great impact than thousands said without revelation when someone speaks a word and you are able to catch it in a pictorial form whether in your mind or whatever way it makes it easier for you to understand. And revelations are like opening the treasure box. So the treasure can be in the box. Until it is open, you cannot see what is in there. God may be speaking, but until your ears are open, you may think that God is dumb and that God is dead silent. Ladies and gentlemen, God is an ever speaking God. I repeat, God is an ever speaking God. So concerning your situation, which you think that God is quiet about, I want you to know he is already and he has already spoken about it. The only challenge is you have not heard him. So he said to Jeremiah, whatever challenge there is, I am speaking. But because you are not hearing Get up and go to the potter's house. And in that place, I am going to cause you to hear my word. May you receive grace to hear the word of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Jeremiah was called by God. Once again, called by God and sent to the potter's house. And as he watched the porter do his work, his mind received illumination. His mind was illuminated by the thoughts from God. And then he was able to understand what God wants to say. Why did God, didn't God just speak straight to the prophet? And why did God, didn't God just say, Jeremiah, 
Get up. I want to talk to you and speak to him in his room. But God told him, go to the potter's house and there you will hear my word. Let us look at some five things that influence hearing from God. Five things that influence hearing from God. One, a circumstantial factor which will impact our ability to hear. In other words, something that happens and then it causes you to hear. Jeremiah had to see the peace of port be marked and redesigned before he could hear and understand what God wants to tell him about Israel. For the sake of understanding, let us read the scripture a little, a little more down. So I'm continuing from verse 3 to help us understand our lesson. Verse 3, Jeremiah 18. Then I went down to the porter's house and behold, he wrote a work on the wheel. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in, in the hand of the potter. So he made it into another vessel. As seemed good to the potter to make it. And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O oh, house of Israel. Cannot I do with you as the spotter, said the Lord. Behold, as the clear is in the potter's hand, so are ye in my hand, O house of Israel. What a word. You see, God was speaking about Israel and he was giving Jeremiah information about how he values and how he takes his time to beautify Israel. And Jeremiah was unable to understand. And he did not even know how he could declare that word. So God said, this is what I'm going to do. Go to the potter's house and in that place, I'm going to give you the picture. I'm going to call, you will see what is happening. And when you see it, it will help you to understand or to receive my word. So Jeremiah went there, and when he got there, the porter was making a vessel. In the course of the making of the vessel, the vessel marred in his hand. The vessel got spoiled in his hand. Then the, J Jeremiah said, the porter used the marred clay in his hand to mold another vessel so beautiful and nice as it is good in the eyes of the potter. It means that you may think that your life is mad, but as long as you are in the potter's heart, he can transform you into a glorious and honorable vessel. You miss the right place to say amen. Most times, God unfolds real situations before our eyes so that we can understand his word so that we can understand what he's saying to us sometimes when i'm invited to a program or a conference a seminar to speak in that conference or seminar i might pray all night and pray for weeks and not receive a word but just when I go to the program, while in the program, sometimes, few minutes before I will be invited to come and speak, then pa, God will begin to speak to me. Two years ago, it happened to me in Limpopo in South Africa. 2018, while there to speak, I preached the first day or spoken the first day, and the second day, I was so preparing all night, praying. I stayed up all night, praying toward 
the seven. I was going to preach that God will anoint me and give me a word. That the word I have prepared, I will preach it. But somewhere, so I have this prompting in my spirit. That is so heavy. I didn't know what it means until we went to the service. And during the service, while the praise and the worship was going on, the Holy Spirit began to minister to me. So I have to change the entire sermon and speak that which the Holy Ghost gave me right there. And that day, you wish to be there to see how many people repented and gave their life to Jesus. And how many men of God came to the altar crying and weeping, confessing their sins and asking that the Lord will refill them. I had to lay aside that which I thought I have well prepared so that God in that circumstance, that situation, that moment of time will speak through whatever is happening right there so that he will use it to make his, uh, to bring clear, clarion understanding to his word. Most times, for God to talk to us, he will first set up a chessboard and then he can make his move. So God wanted to speak to Jeremiah, but he needed the porter and his work to speak to the prophet. Oftentimes, God will cause circumstances to be played out before us in order to get us into the right frame of mind to hear what he wants to communicate to us. You see, it's like when you are seated, especially when you are in the, in the plane, and then the pilot want to give an announce, announcement, certain things will begin to happen. If you are watching a movie on the plane, they put off the movies. Every, every movie goes off. Every TV goes off. And then you hear the sound. King. Everybody's attention is being what? Drawn. The sound is to call our attention. And then the pilot will begin to speak. All those sounds that are happening are to get put us or position our mind in such a way that we can receive what message there is to tell us. Jeremiah could not hear what God wants to say until he saw the marrying of the clay and the remaking played out before his eyes. He said, then the word of the Lord came to me. 